the storm has arrived and it certainly is good for Utah to see snow so early in the season. But is this an indicator for what's to come for the remainder of the winter season? Fox 13's Brian Schnee joins us live tonight out in the elements to look at how drought and low water levels at the Great Salt Lake could impact snow at some nearby resorts. Hi, Brian. Kelly, good evening to you. Some light but steady snow coming down here in the town of Alta. Of course, this area known for Alta ski area, which gets its fair share of lake effect snow, which is produced over the Great Salt Lake. But with the shrinking lake, we wanted to know how does that impact all of this? It's the October scene in the Wasatch Mountains. Snow already piling up on the slopes before the lifts even start spinning. Those storms can help a lot get the ski season going. When it's not a major front moving through northern Utah, it's the lake effect snow that makes this area so special. So the resorts in the central Wasatch, southeast of the Great Salt Lake, get the most lake effect snow. On average, it's about 5%. Uh, a year. It's not as big of a number as people think. The lake effect can pack a punch, dumping lots of snow in a short amount of time. But is the lake effect in jeopardy with the shrinking Great Salt Lake? We're in a drought now, not because of the lake being small. The lake being small is because of, of the drought and also the fact we're using a lot of water that would normally go to the to the lake. You need moist cold air intrusions to create the lake effect, but you also need the water. Here's a look at the recent rise and fall of the Great Salt Lake levels over the past few years, with a prediction from the Utah Climate Center showing those lake levels continuing to drop off. We want to see the lake level to fall back to what we perceive as normal. We probably need about 170% of uh, precipitation falling down. And that, that means all the water will end up being in the lake uh, for this coming winter. But we know that's, you know, the odds of that is slim. Lake effect snow typically takes place from October through December, but it's extremely difficult to predict for meteorologists. Right now, without any hard data, it's tough to tell if the shrinking Great Salt Lake will play a noticeable part in that snow deposited at high elevations. If we can keep the storms coming and we build up the snowpack quickly, then that's a best case scenario for the ski season. Again, the lake effect snow does impact the snowpack here at resorts, especially those in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Only about five to 10% though of the snowpack is believed to actually come from lake effect snow. Now, earlier this afternoon, much heavier snow coming down in this canyon. Tonight, some light, steady snowfall here in the town of Alta. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.